Hey up lads and ladettes, welcome to a video I'm doing on Spelunky, which is a game I got very recently off GOG, and I have been playing a whole bunch of. It is a roguelike game, as in you die, and that's it, you're screwed. Right back to the start you go, and you've lost everything. And it is rather addicting, the kind of game where when you die, you just say, screw it, and hit quick restart, and you get right back into it. It's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Not when you've gotten really far and then you die, though. That, that's kind of a crap feeling. Especially if you did it stupidly. But, yeah. Anywho, here's a whole bunch of characters we can pick. A couple of school children. The main character is this Indiana Jones rip-off looking guy. And, whoops, it's right to go left for some reason. Hang on. I should be playing as her because she is a purple pirate. And... You know, I'm a fan of pirates, I'm a massive fan of purple, and I love alliteration, and purple pirate gives me just that. So, it's gonna mosey on in. You don't have to go through this crap every time you go into the game. During the intro scene, you can hit quick start and you'll immediately start in the level. So, that's nice, that's a wonderful option. Skipping the excess, you'll start here once you pick it. Now, I'm gonna grab this, because such things are useful for throwing at things and setting off traps. There appears to be nothing to do over here, so, buddy! Now, oh crap, crap, uh, I jumped too short, but it's okay. It's okay, I'm gonna chuck the skull at this bat, and away we go, all right. Wait, no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh wait, no, 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 it's fine, because I can jump back over here. So, yeah, that's good. Now. If my time playing this game has taught me anything, it's never break the jars, or vases, or urns, or whatever the bloody hell these are. Never break them, because A, you can use them for this, set off the trap, and B, sometimes they've got animals inside. Hostile animals who desire nothing more tend to eat your brains, or flesh, or anything in general. Really, I don't think they're too picky, they've never displayed such traits in the past. Now, yeah, so suffice it to say, caution. I do love that crawl animation, so yeah, yeah. I don't know why I made that sound effect, but just what I imagine them saying. There's a damsel, there are three types of damsel model in the game, that is the male one. Rather odd looking bloke with a massive gap in his teeth. Don't know what's going on there. But uh, the other two models are a blonde bugsome woman, I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce it right. Buxom. Buxom. It's an X in the word, so I'd imagine Buxom. Anyway. Yes, blonde Buxom woman. And the other one is a pug. Which is the dog. The type of dog. Okay, I'm gonna have to blast my way through here. In the words of the great and wise Peppy Hare, remember to always use bombs wisely. And there's a bomb. And I'd like to think that my use of it was at least somewhat sagacious in the words of Salazar from Resident Evil 4. Now, you hop down there, and you'll walk through the gate, and that's absolutely fine. The reason to rescue the damsels is they give you back health, and your health is in the top left. That is, as far as I know, pretty much the only way to get health back. Apparently there are some items in the game which give it back when you collect them. I haven't found any, because I'm rubbish at this game. As you'll likely see- oh, Jesus Christ, no, we don't want to do that, we'll block up the exit! Uh... Oh, shit. The ghost has come! Spend too long, and the ghost comes along to instantly murk your ass. And... That would be bad! For obvious reasons. Yeah, let's just not talk about what happened there. Now... It's mosey on. The shopkeeper! Oh my god, he's got a jetpack! What are you buying? Uh, I want the jet back. Not enough cash, stranger. Oh, damn it, I've got, I've not got enough cash. That's bad, that's bad. Okay. Mm, feeling hyper today. I don't know why, given that it's early in the morning. You would think it'd be the opposite. Great! Oh my god, I've got a baseball glove. It improves your throwing and catching skills. Catching skills? You can catch things in this game? So they probably just put that in as flavor text. I doubt you actually can. Okay, screw you. Now, one thing you probably noticed is everything in the game 
is physical in the world, which is awesome because sometimes you have an arrow trap and you can actually hit the gold. You can hit the money and have the money fall down. It's wonderful. And I just broke my own rule and instantly smashed a vase. That is a horrible idea. And you can walk into the spikes, which seems rather counterintuitive to me, but hey, I'm not going to complain because it means I can get past them. And here's a shrine to Kali, a Hindu goddess. What she's doing here, I have no earthly clue, but I'm not going to complain because she is part of a really cool game mechanic and son of a bee. But it's okay because that worked out in the end. And I don't think I followed Peppy Hare's advice there. I think that was a most unwise use of bombs. Now, can I get back up? I can, but not without using ropes. I want to get the damsel because you can sacrifice damsels to Kali and you will get free stuff. And that's always a good thing. Where, oh, where is the damsel? Uh, let's see. Are you over here? No, you're not. Maybe she's here. Or he. Or the dog. I don't know. I don't know which one it was. And Oh my god, that was awful. Eh, jump up. I'm gonna have to use another rope to buy stuff off the shopkeep. He doesn't even have any bombs! Son of a... Oh, oh god, I don't like him. You can kill the shopkeepers, though it's not exactly something I would advise, because they are tough SOBs. Son, there she, god, and I can't get to her. I'm gonna take my anger out in the snake. There we go. Okay, let's leave. Sorry, damsel. Oh wow, just in time for the ghost to show up too. Oh, we have no one to greet us on our way out to the next floor. What a damn shame. Oh good, I still have my rock. That's perfect, because... There we go. Well, that worked out quite well. Now, get my money. Is there anything down here? There's a bloody venom-spitting cobra. That's... that's... Yeah, that's not good. Hate spiders. The spiders will jump down if you walk underneath them, because they're cheeky gits. Great opportunists are the spiders. Oh, skeleton. Oh, that was easy. Now, grab this. I shall call it Wilson, and hopefully it will aid us in our journey. Now, put Wilson down here, and smash your face in. One thing you want to make sure to do is never, ever, ever put a bomb too close to Kali's shrine. That's a, uh, a horrible idea that will cause a great plethora of spiders to emerge, looking to brutalize you in most heinous of ways. Okay. This is going to be a awful idea, I'm sure. Whoops. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Damn it! Son of Okay, okay. We have one more. We have one more to do this with. God fucking Oh, hang on. Hey hey, that worked out quite well. Alright, let's come in here. Hopefully the damsel. Ah oh, you Cheeky game. Well, I don't like you anymore, game. Did I mention this game is procedurally generated and different every time you come through it? I don't remember. It's the morning. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Oh my god, he's got bombs. Good sir, good sir. I require your bombs. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. A mystery box. And it's purple. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Fuck it! It's mine! The mystery box is mine! You can't have it! Yeah, I know. I sold it to you. It's fine. It's yours. No, I don't care. It's mine. You can't have it! It's like, uh, okay. Oh, it's... <gasps> that was not a worthwhile investment. I can't help but feel. Okay, there's a key. Which means there's a golden chest nearby. And being a pirate, I'm here looking for the booty. Okay. Oh, there's the chest, but... Mr. Spider over here is going to start something. Fuck it! Oh, you smack it. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, no! Flee! Uh, hang on. Grab you. Bring you out, and then leg it. The ghost will insta-kill you, because he's a prick. And I don't like ghosts. So, yeah. Well, so far we've seen two male damsels and a female one. No dog. No dog thus far, but you never know. The night is still young, even though it's only 
half ten in the morning. But now you're still young. Sticky white stuff. That's a Demon Souls reference. It's actually called paste in the game, but I don't care. I'm calling it sticky white stuff. I'm going to buy this and this. That's probably a horrible idea, and anyone who actually plays this game properly is looking at me. Well, I mean, they're not looking at me because, you know, I'm on the other side of a computer. But they're imagining looking at me with a look of just pure disgust. Like I just said that Call of Duty was the best shooter franchise ever or something like that. And they are horrified at what I've just done. Now, that worked out quite well. Now, where'd that semi-naked bloke go? Oh, God damn it! I missed the gold. Perhaps he's down here. Yes, he is. Well, he shall remain down there. Damn it. I was rather hoping that would go a little differently. You heard a little bang there. I think that was me banging my controller against my desk. So, yeah, that's what that was. Mm, this is worrisome. So I'm just going to plant a bomb here. Now, the sticky white stuff, what that does... I don't need to think about this. What the sticky white stuff does is... makes your bombs adhesive. Which is always a good thing, because, you know, you can throw them with greater precision. Wow, that actually worked out really well. Yes, very good, very good. Anyway, yes, throw them with greater precision, which is always a good thing. And I believe the damsel is somewhere over here, and I don't have any ropes. That's... That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, hmm. Not really sure how to proceed from here. Well, if nothing else, we can get all this gold. Oh, did it crap. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, the arrow came out here. That's fine. And it murdered that poor gentleman with his ridiculous looking lips. Perfect. I forgot what I was talking about, though, just a second ago. Which is unfortunate. There's not really a whole lot I can do here. Yeah, sticky white stuff. I didn't buy it because the game has giant spiders that if you kill them, they drop sticky white stuff. Because they do. I'm the tunnel man. Well, he does have a glorious afro. But uh, I don't have any ropes to give you. And honestly, I wouldn't give them even if I did because I am a stingy pirate. Who, you know, does not give anything for free. And I don't really know what the benefit of having the tunnel is. This is only, like, the fourth time I've actually made it to the jungle. Yes, I am that bad at this game. Ah. Uh. Oh, Jesus Christ! Bloody hell. Hmm, seems you can stick to trees. I'll have to make note of that. Okay. If you'll excuse me, good sir, I'm going to refer to you now as the piranha plant. Now, these things make spikes come out of their sides, so obviously I don't want to stand in there. Now, there is an idol. We didn't actually see an idol at all in the mines. The trap for the idol, because there are traps, because this game is a dick and it hates you. Oh, sh 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 I accidentally hit the run button. Oh my god, that was horrible. Oh my... No, 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 no. See what I mean about this game being horrible? Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh good, there were no piranhas in here. Uh, however, I am left with a rather severe problem. That problem, of course, is I am dead. Huh. I was squished by a frog. It's a rather ignominious way to go. But nonetheless, that is the way that I went. Let's try another one, just for fun. Okay, perhaps you'll get to see me sacrifice someone to Kali. Or, you know, play somewhat competently. That That's also a possibility. It's a far out possibility. It's probably something you're not going to see, but... Hey, you know, hope springs eternal and all that crap. Whoops. There'd be a spider. I'm not gonna worry about him for the moment. Loot my booty. And there we go. You get new outfits, or I suppose they're not outfits, get new characters in the game by finding coffins. I don't know why coffins, but you know, hey, who am I to question the might of the great overlord of Spelunky? And the answer is I am no one. I am no one to this game. I haven't even gotten past the first stage of the friggin' jungle. The game ends in a hell level, for Christ's sake, and if I can't even get past the friggin' jungle, then, you know, who am I to question anything? Are you? No, you're not alive. Okay, well. Oh, Jesus Christ, I got the damsel. Oh, crap. No, 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 don't come down here. I, that wasn't even English. I don't even know what that was. There we go. You can go down there, good sir. I swear I picked all three. Oh, my God. Well, that didn't go well. But I swear I picked all three models, so I don't know where the dog 
damsel is. I want to rescue the dog. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna leave this place, because this, this one is mean. And it hit me with an arrow trap, and I don't like it anymore. So, yeah. Come on, peck me on the cheek. There you go. Good lad. There. They have lips that grant convalescent powers. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And there's an idol. Good, I can show you how this trap works. And probably die to it. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this. And then I'm gonna leave. Come back anytime. <gasps> there's a spider. And I can show you how the spider trap, spider thing works. Provided I don't fudge it up completely. Which I probably will, because it's me. What I'm gonna wanna do is get underneath him. So I can throw the bomb upwards. You're gonna see it. Oh, and if I do it right, you're gonna be so impressed. It'll be like, damn man, I'm so impressed. There we go. Check it out. Oh, that was beautiful. And that set off the arrow trap, which is always son of a... God damn it. Now that gold is up there. Can I make that jump? No. If only I had the climbing gloves, then I could grip onto anything. Anything I tell this kid. Okay. Yeah, you can actually run across those gaps. It seems rather counterintuitive the first time you do it, because then, like, dude, I'm not doing that. But it works. Now, toss a rope up, if I've, as I've discovered. Trust me, you want to toss the rope up. Oh my god. Yeah, because that happens. And... Suffice it to say, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. You will die instantly. And one thing you definitely want to make sure of is not to do that when the shopkeeper is below you, because it will set him off, he will go mad, and trust me when I say the last thing you want is an angry shopkeeper. Jesus bloody Christ. They are terrifying. They are the works of the devil himself, I tell you. In my pirate, my pirate ways. And it's not, it's not good for anyone involved. They bounce all over the screen. You can't possibly follow their movements. And they've got a frickin' 12 gauge. A 12 gauge. I'm, ass I'm assuming it's 12, I don't <laughs> Here's me talking like I actually know what the hell gun calibers mean, but yeah. And I got a thing called the Ujat Eye. And apparently, it's one of a few items that you need to unlock the city of gold, El Dorado. Though, in Uncharted, it's not a city. But I'm being, you know, screw it. We'll pretend it's a city so it can be like the film. The Road to El Dorado. I haven't watched that film in years. But I remember it being good. Hmm, which side is the ghost coming from? Damn it, I won't be able to reach the dog. Oh, and look at it, mournfully calling out to me. It's like, save me! You have to save me, you can't leave me down here! No! And I'm like, sorry man, I'm not going over to the ghost, it'll kill me in one hit. That'd be a horrible idea. Oh, really? You son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, that worked out well. It does still leave me in the unfortunate position of somehow having to navigate past this arrow trap. Hmm, and I can hear the dog. Screw it, I'm just gonna leave the bomb here. I will circumnavigate the trap. Jesus, what the? Good God. Well. Well. Bloody hell, you have spiders in here. What's with all the spike trap? Oh my God, I have to go past these guys. There is no way around them. You son of a... No, no, no. That would have been quite bad to land on the spikes at that early stage. Okay. Ha! <laughs> you dumb shit. <laughs> Okay, good. It's okay. It's okay, I've got this. Okay, now he recognizes that I'm here, but he can't get down because he is two squares across, and there's only a one square gap. So, I'm fine. I'm gonna take you out of the radius of the blast, and I shall be on my merry way. Goodbye, Mr. Spider. It was not nice at all knowing you, you twat. Yeah. Oh my god, little spider. And I lost some health. That's unfortunate. Oh well. At least I got the Super Mario, that guy. Always makes me feel good. Anything up there? No. Okay. Now, to get past this cheeky git. There we go. I'm gonna leave you here, Mr. Donkey. <gasps> a teleporter! This thing gives you a short-range blink. 
Oh my god. Hang on. No, no, don't go down there, you son of a... Oh, smack. Uh... Damn it! I forgot, the bombs don't roll forward when you have the sticky white stuff. Okay, that's... Hmm. This leaves me in an awkward position. It's okay. Die, die. Oh, the dog's dead. No, no, he's not. Okay. I thought the uh, Tweety birds that were going around were just for the one bloke. I love how she just sort of casually tosses the poor dog down. Let this guy come over here. And there we go, Super Mario. Oh my god, let's get out of here. I shall show you the blink in the next level. Look, that dog gets its own animation. Mm. Dedication, devotion to giving the true dog experience. Ooh, hang on. I could s Wait, we had the spider pit and an immediately a snake pit level? Good god. Ah, my Christ. Damn, scorpion. Pick you up. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I was trying to sacrifice him to Kali. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, I'm gonna end this here. One thing I wanted to briefly say, because I was thinking of what game I would properly play next. Now, if you want more Spelunky videos, I could, would be more than happy to give you some of those. I would, of course, play more Spelunky off-screen in a vain attempt to improve. Perhaps we could see the jungle for more than two bloody minutes. That would be swell. Other things I was thinking of was maybe doing a camp short campaign in a Total War game. That could be fun. Not Rome 2, because that's in a rather uh, crappy state right now, due to bugs and poor optimiz- let me try that again. Poor optimization and various other problems. I'm going to blame Sega. By the way, fun fact, Rome 2 was the most pre-ordered Total War game ever. I bet both of my testicles the only reason it was the most pre-ordered Total War game ever is because they took three factions out of the game, which are in the game. They're right fucking there. You can interact with them. You just can't play as them. And said, if you don't pre-order the game, then you have to pay eight euros to play as Athens, Epirus, and of course, fucking Sparta. So I would say that's why it's the most pre-ordered, because people didn't want to have to pay extra for the factions, which are supposed to be theirs and are already in the fucking game anyway. Anything that was made before release should be in the game. So yeah, basically it's got on-disc locked content. So that's fantastic. But anyway, a, dif a different Total War game. One of the older ones. Medieval 2 was my favorite. I've got all of them, except for Medieval 1. Medieval 1 is the only Total War game I don't have. That and Shogun 1, so that's actually 2 that I don't own in a previous statement of only one not owning was a complete and total fabrication, and I apologize deeply. Other thing, in a moment of madness, I had thought to myself, why not play Dragon Age Origins? I immediately countered by, good God, sir, that would take forever. I was like, yes, it would. But, but we can't do Dragon Age Origins. It's like, why not? Because it would take forever. So, why are you on a time limit? So, like, hmm, well... Yeah, good point, actually. So, yeah, I shall leave you with those thoughts and the sight of my purple pirate, semi-submerged. That's completely not the right word. But we're going with it anyway. Submerged in the rock face of the fully destructible, procedurally generated environment of Spelunky. The game is 15 euro on Steam, because Steam is a cunt, even though it's actually $15 American. I got the game on GOG, so I paid the true price of 13 euro. Does mean I miss out on the special daily challenge feature, where a specially crafted version of the world is made, and you can only play it once. But given the choice of that particular gameplay feature in return for getting ripped off and not actually owning the game, versus owning the game and not getting ripped off, I chose the GOG version. So, yeah, now I'm finally going to end this video. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and bye!